Hello boys and girls, welcome back to my channel, Trendless here. Today we're gonna take a look at the upcoming tier 9 battleship Ludendorff. Bear in mind, this ship is still work in progress and falling under new, new rules. So I'm only going to show you the data we have in the port. No gameplay footage, nor comments on the gameplay experience with it. As soon as we can tell you more about it, there will be of course more. But for now, I on I'm only allowed to show you the new ship in port. It is a tier 9 German battleship. It is based on the Friedrich der Grosse Hall, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, do we have the description of the ship here? A large, well-armed ship with powerful armor protection. It was essentially a draft design for the H-Class battleship, equipped with 380mm triple main battery turrets. What does it say on the fridge rules? Ah, I see, it's a bit different. Okay, let's take a look at the stats that we have. Survivability, 81,900. And we do have a torpedo protection of 25%. Bear in mind, I'm gonna look at these stats in comparison to the tier 9 for the struggles. So we have some comparison between these two ships when it comes to health pool whatsoever. Okay, so we have 81,900 HP, 25% torpedo reduction. Looking at the Friedrich der Grosse, we do have a bit more HP, but the same torpedo reduction. Moving on to the main batteries, and here is a big difference already. Instead of having 8 bigger guns, we do have 4 turrets, 4 triple turrets, so a total of 12 guns with the caliber of 380 mm. The firing range is 21.3 cam, so that's pretty decent. Looking at the stats card here, we do have a base reload of 32 seconds and a turret traverse of 36 seconds. Maximum HG damage is 4400. Chances of causing a fire is 34%. And the shell armor penetration is 95 millimeters. So it also gets the German quarter HG pen. AP shell damage is 11.6 which is the same damage as a Bismarck Citadel and the shell velocity is 820 meters and A3 shell velocity is 820 meters as well. Now, this is a look without a cap. We're gonna put a cap afterwards on it as well so you have a different view on it. We do get torpedoes, four of them, basic German torpedoes, 90 second reload, 6km range and you can see them right here in the middle of the ship. So that's, that's pretty interesting. We're getting torpedoes on this ship apparently. AA defense wise, we do have 16 times 4 30 mm guns. Our 105 mm secondary guns, oh, which I forgot to mention. Our 105 mm secondary guns are dual purpose. So not only they are secondary guns, but also AA guns. Continuous AA damage is 307 and damage by shell explosions 1470. Priority sector reinforcements 35% and the firing range is 5.2 kilometers. Now, I forgot the secondaries earlier, so we're gonna switch to this. We do have 8 times 205 millimeter secondaries with 3.4 second base reload, 5% fire chance, HC armor penetration of 26 millimeters and a maximum range of 7.6 kilometers. We got the same range on the 150s. Only difference is, of course, they reload longer, they do more damage, and they have a higher fire chance. As for the armor penetration, it is 38 millimeters. In case you're going for a secondary build, you would be able to pen more than 32 millimeters with the 150s. But since these are 105s and 100, not the 128s, you would need to slot IFHG if you want to pen the 32 millimeters. Moving on to the maneuverability, this ship goes 31 knots without a flag. Let's actually put a flag on real quick. There we go. So with a flag, it's 32.6 knots. Turning circle is 940 meters and the rudder shift time is 17.3. Concealment wise, it is 16.8 base. And 
Now we're going to put some models on and the captain and see how the values can change. These are the base values. Okay, so we got all the base values. I'm going to put a captain on. But before I do it, I'm quickly going to check the base values of the Friedrich Agrosen. Looking at the Friedrich Agrosen, as I said, we do have more HP. Same torpedo reduction. I'm not going to go into artillery, but because that's totally different. Maneuverability and turning circle as rudder shift is exactly the same. Same goes for concealment. Only difference here is detectability after firing the main guns in smoke. Of course, they're tinier. They're not as big as the 406s or 420s, so the penalty is a bit lower. But otherwise, most of the values are shared. Armor-wise, we basically have also a Friedrich der Grosse armor scheme. The only difference is that the turret cheeks have a bit more plating on the Ludendorff than on the Friedrich der Grosse, as you can see here. At least on the side plate. Here it's 200. Let's see what's the roof on the Friedrich der Grosse. Oh, 180s. So the turrets are a bit tougher from the side. Otherwise, we do have 32 millimeters here and here. An icebreaker with 60 millimeters and 150 millimeters. Moving more to the middle of the ship, we do have 50 millimeters of fore end deck armor. The really strong 80 millimeters here and 50 here, 80 here, 50 here. Same goes for the back. We do have a little icebreaker to the back, but it's not reaching to the end as it does on the front. Armor belt, 142 millimeters, 235 and 300. Now, if you compare that to the Friedrich, we have besides the turret the exact same values. Moving into the inner part, we do have the German turtle back. And it does have the same protection as the Friedrich der Grosse as well. So, when it comes to armor protection, you are basically a Friedrich der Grosse. Now, let's let's put some modules in and see how we can change it. And just for the lulz, I'm gonna put a secondary spec captain on it. Let me put the secondary flag on it as well. Back to port. And let's put the captain on it. Let's see, do we have a... There we go. It's just about the range now. There we go. So, now we got a captain on it. Our concealment is going down to 13.6 with concealment expert and the concealment skill, of course, of the captain. Artillery-wise, we do have a reload of 28. 0.2 seconds now with 12 guns 180 turn time is increased to 41.4 seconds due to the due to the sixth slot reload module and we can get our secondary range up to 11.5 kilometers these are just the values i wanted to show you in a secondary build if you should run it as a secondary build we have to see I haven't played it yet even so i couldn't share it but usually I tend to run my Kriegsmarine BBs mostly on the tank build. Since if you go for secondary builds, you most likely just burn down. This was a quick overview of the Ludendorff. I hope you enjoyed this little preview and you could see some stuff of the ship, the armor scheme, how it looks with a captain on it. If you like this video, leave a thumb up, leave a thumb down, comment below what you think about this ship. And hopefully I can show you in the near future some gameplay footage. I take it out for a ride as well. Bear in mind, before I'm gonna stop this video, this is still all work in progress. So even before I play the ship, a lot of things could change. This is just the first concept we got in our port right now. So subject to change, how it eventually will feel, I don't know. We shall see. But at least you have a little comparison to the Friedrich der Grosse from the armor scheme already. Everything can change, as mentioned before. Hopefully, we will be able to show you in a few weeks something on stream, how it performs whatsoever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you are staying healthy, you are good, everything is okay. And see you later, probably on stream. Have a good one, and catch you later. Bye-bye.